Um, so hi, so this is a little bit of a rant video. <laughs> Um, I just got my Ride Mini, uh, step through, well, Ride Mini or Ride Mini step through, whatever, fenders, um, was going to do a video putting them on, but I can't because I don't have all the parts. Somehow they can send just plain old fenders and not send you all the parts. I don't understand that. I would kind of think they would already be packaged in boxes, um, ready to go out because they don't sell the bikes with the fenders on them. So whatever. So basically, um, but from what I can tell from already having the fenders, the pros, a little bit of pros and cons on them is if you're worried about the plastic, sorry, it's a little shaky. Um, if you're worried about the, uh, uh, plastic being like too soft, like it's going to bounce around. It doesn't look like it's going to do that. It's really hard plastic with like, like a little bit of metal backing where the brackets go and stuff. So it looks really sturdy. It looks really sturdy. Um, it's kind of a bummer that they're a hundred dollars. Like, I mean, they're eighty or eighty-nine dollars, but then after tax and shipping, um, I think shipping's twelve dollars. It's like, then it's like, yeah, it's like a hundred bucks. Um, also, they won't the FedEx when they deliver that, they won't have you sign for it, so they'll just put that sucker right in front of your door. Um, so look out for that, <laughs> you know. Uh, but that's that's nothing to do with Red Power Bikes. That's not their fault. That's just a that's just how shipping goes. Uh, so anyways, I'll just go ahead and show you, uh, what the pieces look like. So here's the box that came in. The box is a pretty decent size. Like it's a very look at me, come take me. I'm right in front of the door kind of size, <laughs> um, which would really suck. Cause one, the person that picks these up is going to have no use for them, you know, unless they have, um, the exact kind of bike or unless there's some weird black market for um tire fenders for bicycles <laughs> anyways so this is the front fender that it came with um as you can see the plastic looks pretty hard like it's not you know flimsy it's not um those are my glasses <laughs> it's not falling around when i shake it so i do think when i bike it's not going to be bouncing so that's good um and then, of course, there's metal bracket right here for where this attaches to the front, from what I can tell. Oh, side part on the negative. Oh, here's the extra piece you get. You get this little extra, you know, piece that goes on the fender, which is cool. One of uh, one of these of mine, um, this part right here is bent on one of them, but I can bend it back. So that actually, I mean, it's technically negative, but it doesn't bother me. So this is how it came. Like literally just packing paper in the plastic that it was in. Absolutely no packing slip for proof of purchase. And no nuts or bolts or whatever to attach it. Um, so anyways, here's the fender. So the front one basically, from what I can tell, mounts like this. But inside, of course, with these bits going up and under here where you can see that metal right there with the hole in it i think that mounts there i'm pretty sure and of course you know this goes inside and then where are you there it is this right here piece um goes right there where the light normally mounts now i have a front rack so of course they uh they come with an extension when you get a front rack um, for the light to go up there. So I do technically have the bolt right here for that part of the fender, but pointless to put it on when I don't have anything to mount the side right here. And then this is the back fender. Um, from what I can tell, I guess I pick whichever hole, I don't know, um, to mount it right here. And then it swoops down inside to here. And then this hole right here from the inside mounts right there you know you don't want to mount it can't mount the outside outside goes like that and then um these metal side pieces i'm pretty sure they mount on either this bolt or this one i'm pretty sure this and this and these are for the mounts for the uh the rack that i'm going to order to go on the back so so far i do like the construction of these fenders they do look like they're really gonna save so like no because i was having heavy mud and rain kick up right here which was a worry and all up under here all up over here it was kicking everywhere kicking all up onto the seat soaking the seat was getting my butt getting my back i had to be I had to wear a jacket to cover that 
so these do look like really good fenders just really disappointed that i don't have the all the pieces um i did notice there's some differences in one of the models like i don't know if it's the 2018 or 17 model but i saw a video where a guy didn't even have the mounting holes it just had that bracket and i guess the bracket that goes there so he said that it would bounce and hit the tire which is really annoying um, so I guess, I don't know if the 2019 model is an updated version where they realized that was an issue or not, or if he just is like me and instead of getting missing parts, he just got a missing hole. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and I do think I'm going to have to either take the tire off or deflate the tire because screwing these in, there is like no space to get my hand in there. Um, and I could take that to the bike shop.